congratulations on uh, back to back wins. Um, what were the most pleasing aspects for you tonight? The fact that we challenged the players at the start of the week, um, it was a fantastic performance and result last week, but we, you know, we, we kept them calm um, and focused and concentrated, and it was a bigger test this week as well against a team for the first time this year that we were expected to beat. And, and that was the most pleasing thing because it was just, it's a mentality more than anything else. Um, you know, we've shown that we can do it against the league leaders a couple of weeks ago. We showed that we can do it away from home, but can we do it at home against a team we're expected to beat? And I thought today that was that was key. Um, you know, they, the first half in particular um, was very good on the front foot again. You know, we didn't want them to play. Um, we understood a bit of them, and they've been in in the contest the last three weeks as well. And and we spoke about that. Do not take them lightly, and we couldn't afford to do that. So that was the most pleasing thing was the mentality, uh, and they and they stood up to the challenge as well. You talked about mentality um, after a loss. I think it was against Adelaide. And you yep. said you've got to. Help these guys to be more confident, but then today you had to make sure they weren't too confident. Mm. Is, it a, is it a fine line to walk? It is, yeah, and it's a fine line to manage a group of players um, and individually as well, making sure that they are switched on and under, understand where we're at at the season, at, at this part of the season as well. Um, but it's a constant process. It's a, it's it's day in day out. You know, you, you've got to be fully focused as a coach and the coaching staff as well, making sure that. You know, players' behaviours and the habits remain the same in, in terms of level of professionalism, that we're not allowing anyone to get too carried away. At the same time, uh, don't get underdone either. Don't go out there thinking that you just have to turn up. You've got to earn the right. You've got to earn the right to, to play. Uh, and every week's the same, no matter who the opposition is. I said it last week, every game is a tough game here. I mean, there, there are no easy opponents. It is very, very tight. So if we go out there thinking that we just have to turn up and, and the game's just going to play itself out doesn't work that way. And right from the outset, I thought we were really positive. Just one more from me. Um, how pleased were you with the nil? The yeah, 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 very pleased. Told Harry as well. I said, it's, that's a sign of maturity as far as I'm concerned. I mean, we've, we've conceded a few late goals. Go back to the first round. I was uh, As good as it was, we conceded a late, which no one likes, you know, particularly myself. And um, we, we have conceded a late you know, a few times this season, but I thought it was a real good sign of maturity. Um, they spoke, they communic communicated with each other as well, and we spoke about that. You know, it's a process again. It's, it's you know, what process do we as individuals and collectively do we need to to, uh, to use in order to make sure that we don't concede in the last 10 minutes or the last five minutes, whatever the case may be. Um, it's about positioning yourself, about being focused, understanding what your role and what your job is, not just the first minute, but obviously in the 93rd minute as well. So it is extremely pleasing. Um, to, to have that zero um, and I didn't think we really were all that threatened apart from a shot from distance as well. We looked pretty good and uh, we've been working a lot on defending certain zones and not crossing over paths and, and being awake. You know, last week for example there was a, a, a potential foul on Louis. You know, my, my, um, I guess my me message to Louis during the week was don't rely on the whistle to be blown. You've got to pick yourself back up. It's the next action that counts. How do you have you know, turned and got back into position, perhaps we could have stopped that goal from being conceded. So every moment and every action is important. Three weeks now, pretty consistent performances, very high performances, and you're pleased with how that's sort of coming along and you're maintaining the service? Yeah, I am. And, and I thought again today, um, like I said to you, Liam, you know, a, a few weeks ago I brought the progression that it was always planned a bit forward, a bit earlier. and. They've taken it like a duck to water, to be fair. They, they've all bought in to what we're trying to do now. Um, look, look, again, I don't think the performance was as good as last week or even the week before, all right? But it was still good. Uh, maybe that's me being demanding. Maybe it's me wanting you know, as close to perfection as possible. Um, but it, it's, certainly, it's certainly good from that moment where we changed certain things. You guys are all smart enough to see what we've changed as well. Um, it's good. Um, we're in a good place, but like I said, there's a lot of football to play, Liam, but we, we continue down his path. Yeah, yeah, he, he sort of felt it with about 10 minutes to go in that first half, uh, before half time, and he you know, said, we'll give, him another, we'll give him another five minutes, let's just see how he goes, and he made a decision at half time. I thought he was moving okay, but at half time he, he came in and spoke to the medical staff and said, look, I'll do the right thing by the, by the team. And, and I'm like that anyway. I don't like taking major risks. And 
to know that you've got someone like Tom Doyle, who played extremely well in that position to come on, I was super confident um, that Doyle will do a job and continue on what Copper's been doing. No. Thanks for your question, Liam. No. <laughs> no. I, I thought the ref. No. <laughs> I've got nothing to say, yeah. <laughs> Liam. I, I've uh, thought they did well today. Um, last weekend, you've also kept the same team back out from the goalkeeper. Uh, do you feel you're settled on the sort of top Um, Not really. You know, I'm, I'm, this, this is about the squad. It's not just about the 11 that play out there. And I want competition for places. And, you know, the guys that aren't there, they're working extremely hard. You know, Mitch Nichols was left out of the squad last week. He, you know, he scored a goal for the academy. He's worked extremely hard this week as well. He was unlucky not to be in the match day squad again this week. You know, and it goes the same with everybody out there. You know, it, it's, it really is a work to work proposition. You've got to be in your toes. You know, I've made that very, very clear. You know, the, the, the day I see someone coming out there, going through the motions, be that training or in a the game, they're out. You are out. It's as simple as that. I made it pretty clear at the start when I first came to the football club as well. And uh, the guys that are there, and I keep telling them, you get that jersey, protect it. Do everything you can to remain a starting 11 member or on the bench for that matter because they're fighting for places on the bench now as well. That's what I want. I want healthy competition. I'm getting that.